Hey guys, it's Bella from HopeAndAllLitter.org and I'm at the Green Fest and Trash and Show in Hollandale Beach and it's just a really great event and the Trash and Show is going to start in a few minutes but in a little while I'll go outside and I'll show you guys everything that's going on out there and you might think this tree is a part of the decoration but it's not, it's my tree and I'm really excited to have it and I'll tell you guys about it later. Alright guys, so I just ran into George and George, tell me a little bit about this tree you got here. <laughs> yes, I uh, came to a lecture here at City Hall and it's in honor of uh, Earth Day and Planetary Day and everything else uh, connected with uh, getting people involved in a greener environment. And I was lucky enough to get a, a key lime tree. All right, well, it's gorgeous. Um, it's going to look beautiful wherever it's at, and I'm just glad that the community is doing something like this to promote, because it's not only a help to the people, but it's a help to uh, their community, and it just becomes more beautiful because of all the, the, uh, the plant life and just thank you so much for thank giving you. me the time to interview you. Thank you. Take care, George. See you next time, my friend. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. So I'm still at the Green Fest and Trash and Show. Right now, I'm with Leo and Scott. And Scott, tell me a little bit about the organization you have going on well, here. Well, we are Friends of Our Florida Reefs. We're the state citizen support nonprofit group for the FDP Coral Program, which manages over 100 miles of reefs, starting from the top of Biscayne National Park all the way to Port St. Lucie in Martin County. It's 100 miles of state waters that doesn't enjoy the same federal protections as the Keys. So it's up to the state to best manage these reefs, and French groups like us help them out with their budget gaps, volunteerism, and rapid response to emergencies. All right, well, that's awesome. And tell me a little about what you guys are doing here today. Well, this is the uh Hallandale Beach Green Fest, which has been ongoing for now three years. Um, uh, the city has uh, committed to greener uh, um, uh, environmental protections, and since we do have a coral reef right out, off of our beach in Hallandale Beach, um, it's important for us to be here representing uh, the protections of the coral reefs for Hallandale Beach. All right, well, that's awesome, and nonprofits got to support nonprofits, so just thank you guys so much uh, for giving me the time to interview you guys and just put you guys out there on my website. And so I noticed something over here, Isabella. This is Rick. I'm going to interject a little bit. Y'all have some straws here. Tell me yes. about that. You know, we, yeah, that's straws. a big issue for us are the straws, the plastic bags, and all these things. So tell me about your straws. Sure. Well, yeah. the United States uses over a half a billion straws yeah. per day. 500 million straws per day. They're given to you with drinks, they're given to you complimentary all the time, and of course, you know, you, a lot of people just grab them from restaurants. So, that's a lot of plastic, and it takes years and maybe decades for that plastic to decompose, if it ever does, in the environment. Meanwhile, it also poses a danger to wildlife and habitat. So these are metal straws, stainless steel metal straws, that are reusable. So you can take this with you, put it in your backpack, keep it in your wallet, keep it in your purse, whatever. And then when you're at a restaurant, say, no thank you to straws, and then just use your own straw if you need a straw. And it's washable, and then you can reuse it over and over and over again, they'll never break. That's awesome. Let me tell you, you got to tell people ahead of time, because now they just bring the straw automatically. Yeah. yeah, you got to tell restaurants. You got to remember, we don't want lids, we don't want straws, but you got to tell people quick because they're used to giving them. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Well, Scott, thank you for being part of this. Yeah, thank both of you. Thank you. All right, guys. Yeah, yeah, can we plug our website? It's really yes, easy. FloridaReef.org. We'll FloridaReef.org. We'll put a text over also. Say bye. No worries. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you, guys. Thank you. All right, guys. So now I'm here with someone who's very special. You want to tell everybody your name? Cool. My, my name is Emma, and I'm six years old. All right. And where are we right now? Green Fest. Green Fest. And do you want to change the world? Yes. All right. Well, that's awesome. And who's this little? Who who do you have there next to you? It's Meow. Aw, so cute. All right. Well, we're gonna be changing the world together. Okay. All right. Thank you for thank you for letting me interview you. Okay. Thank you. You be good. You guys both <laughs> wait to the camera. Okay. Bye. Say bye. From bye. Green Fest. From Green Fest. Oh, from Green Fest. Bye. <laughs> So Scott, tell me a little bit about the wheel. The wheel is an educational tool. It's great for kids, great for adults. What you do is you spin the wheel, and it lands on an animal or something, and then you, the kids or the adult tells us what creature it is, and if they can't guess, we try to help them out. All right, so you want to help me spin the wheel? I know what that is. OK, what is it? It's a fish. That's awesome. See? OK, let's do another one, OK? <laughs> help me spin it. All right, one, help me, help me. One, two, three. Okay, that's fun. Okay, that? do you know what that one is? A squid! Yeah, I think it's a squid too. Yeah, I think it's, it's a squid. squid. Squid or an octopus. Squid What's or octopus? Squid? All right, that's awesome. <laughs> you want to go again? You want to go again? One more time? All right, one, two, three, go. Oh, 
Same Again? Yeah. A squid. A squid. Right. Okay. There's really one hard one here. Can you think you know what it is? I'm going to land on it. That's the hardest one on there. You know what it is? I think... Now look what he is. I think it's an angel fish. It's a fish, right? Yeah, it's a fish. It's blue, right? A blue fish. You ever see Finding Dory or uh, Finding, Finding Nemo? Nemo? Finding Nemo. Aw. It's a blue tang. Okay. And these are all animals that are indigenous to Southeast Florida. Well, Isabel, thank you so much for coming by our booth and learning more about Friends of Our Floaties. I'm really a big fan of everything you're doing, and thanks for everything you and your youthful friends are doing to help right, save well, our environment. All right, well, thank you for uh, just letting me talk to you guys and learn more about you guys. Uh, us organizations got to support each other, and just thank you guys so much. And the wheel was really fun to do. The wheel's great. All right, and thank you, Emma, for being my special guest. You were great. Okay. No. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. Sue Fassler, the one who organized uh, the Green Fest and Trash and Show, was nice enough to give me this tree that I'm going to plant at school with my environmental club. Um, and they're normally for the residents of Hollandale Beach who attended the presentation that they had earlier. But she was nice enough to give me this one, and it's really sweet of her, and I'm really thankful for it. All right, everyone, so now I'm here with Scott Lewis from Broward County, and uh, just tell me a little about what you're here for today. Sure, we're here with a water partnership program in Hallandale Beach this morning, and we're promoting two programs. One is going to be the toilet low flow rebate program, which you can get a hundred dollar rebate for putting in the low flow toilet. How's that for special effects? Go ahead. Wonderful. <laughs> um, and then the second program is we're asking people to think about uh, certifying their yard as a habitat certified place where it's good for plants and animals. And to do that, you have to do certain things like make sure that you've got a food source for your animals and a water source for them. And if you do those sorts of things, um, you can get certified through the National Wildlife Federation, and then the county will provide you with a sign that shows that your yard is certified. All right, well, it's awesome. That's really interesting. That's fantastic goal, awesome. Yeah. Um, uh, thank you so much for giving me a little bit of time to just show everybody what you're doing for the, uh, the community, and I hope to hear more about what you guys are doing soon. Thank you. Take care, Scott. All right, thanks. So, Emma, I wanted to thank you so much for all your help on camera today, and I'm going to make you an honorary heel kit, okay? That's my organization, and that's for you. Thank you. All right, now, say bye to the camera. Thank you for all your help. All right, guys, so I'm still here at the Green Fest and Trash and Show, and I actually found Nancy Anzalone, who is one of my sponsors for Help and Doll Litter, and I just want to thank her so much, and I just wanted to ask you really quick, um, what do events like this have, uh, why do you think it's important for a community to have a, an event like this, like a self, like to be aware? It just shows the residents that the city does have an interest in keeping the beaches nice mm -hmm. and keeping the litter off the streets. And uh, they, they need to know that. They need to know that this is a group effort that we're doing and the beaches are our greatest resource yeah. in Florida. It's my favorite thing here for sure. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you guys, and uh, also just on a side note, Nancy is also one of the sponsors or the oh. sustaining partner for SeeMyBeach.com, yes. of which we always have to tie in as well on that because you've been our kids' own host since 2011. 2000, since I was 11. Since you were 11, exactly. Which was like 2012. So for over five years now she's been our kids' own host. Mm -hmm. And uh, anyway, and Nancy's a sponsor for us and we love it, so thank you for supporting us because you're a homeowner and you care about your community, right? You're welcome, yes, absolutely. Fantastic, well thank you for being part of what we do. Isabella, let's go do some more stuff, and Lola, right. guess what we got coming up? The Trash, the trash show. And show. You don't want to get dressed in trash, Nancy? Let's go get you hooked up. I'm halfway trash. there. <laughs> I, think, I don't think your personality being trashy is going to count. Okay. All right. <laughs> I Absolutely. talk to you later. Absolutely. Thank you. All right, thank See you my so beach, much. we harass our people, too. Yeah. All right, take, take care. care. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Hey, guys. This is Bella with HelpEndAllLitter.org, and I'm here with... Good morning. I'm Sonia Quinones. I'm the chief of police in the great city of Palando Beach. And... and I'm Sergeant Aaron Smith, also with Palando Beach Police Department. And I'm also with Rick from help, from SeaMyBeach.com, actually. And I'm also with Help and Dollar from, yes. from back in the day. And let me tell you what, Helen Del Beach is a great city. People always ask me what my favorite beach is around here, and I have to say yours is probably the, my favorite beach. I love South City Beach Park. It's fantastic. Fantastic beach, a great opportunity. I've gotten great tan out there. I'm <laughs> not down the beach at Oak Patrol in the city. No, yeah, exactly. That's one of the benefits of your job. Okay, so we're here to talk about litter as well. So we're going to tell them, uh, ask a couple of questions uh, to the chief and maybe to Sergeant over here and see what's going on. 
All right, so um, today what we're going to be focusing on is what you guys do um, in order to prevent the litter problem on the beaches and in just the city in general. So what do you guys do? So it's very important to keep our beaches clean, to keep our community clean. So we make sure that we educate the community. We do extra patrols out there in the community. We're at the beach, we're in our city parks, we're throughout the entire city. And it's important that if we were to see someone discarding something they shouldn't be discarding, <laughs> just on the ground, and we want to make sure we make contact with them, educate them about the proper laws, the city ordinances, and point out the receptacles. So city does a great job of putting out receptacles for recycling, for litter, um, for trash, refuse, and we make sure that we keep our community clean. And keep in mind also, it's not just about the community, it's if you're out on the beach and you're discarding a straw, you're discarding a plastic bag, that can eventually harm the ocean, the ocean and our yeah. environment. Turtles. Yeah, one thing that I really love about Hollandale is that you guys have a bunch of recycling, uh, recycling stuff all, all all over the beach, and just like um, trash, like try to prevent like litter. And I love that about you guys. So that's great that you guys do that. And you just did a. Let me interject real quick. Did you just did a story, um, the letter, the final that you just sent me. The yes. Night. Tell her, tell them really quickly about that because that's something that relates to what she was just thinking yeah. about. One of my finals in class was um, I had to write about something that I was passionate about. So I wrote about. Um, litter and trash ending up in the ocean and that was I wrote like four four no like seven pages actually about that and I just wrote about trash in the ocean and how if we want to prevent trash in the ocean we can't just clean up the ocean we have to start on land we have to start um, preventing the problem we have to like add laws and make sure that we're enforcing them and that's basically what I wrote about that's the solution that I pr like presented and also to. in our city of Hallandale we do a great deal of beach cleanups as yes, well. And we team up with our police explorers, our community members, uh, uh, group activists, and we make sure that we go out there and we are physically picking up every single bag mm -hmm. and there's even a little bit of a contest, how much trash can you pick yeah. up and we wait at the end. So everything, and even take out the police boat out into mm -hmm. the, the waters and into the waterways to pick up also debris. Well, that's awesome. And off camera we were talking about um, what you guys do, like some of the beach cleanups here, so can you tell me a little bit more about that? We do, uh, last month we did a waterway cleanup, which was both the beach and the intercoastal. Um, a lot of, during the summer we have things set up with the children's programs that we have in the city that we are going to go out with them and clean up both beaches and uh, city parks and stuff like that, just kind of to get that recycling mindset into these children at a young age so they can grow up like you and not be yes. littering everywhere. Yeah, well that's awesome, and thank you guys for your time, I know you guys are very busy, uh, but I loved learning more about like inside of like what's going on like with the law enforcement and what you guys do to prevent the litter problem, so thank you guys so much for your time. Thank you for having us. Thank you. And, and just so you know real quick, I met with Sue Fauci the other day, Isabella hasn't met Sue yet, and she's yet. anxious to, to meet Sue, but, um, and to meet Isabella, but um, the city of Hollandale Beach, I have to give you all major credit because from, this, from the ground up, this is a city who's trying to become an example on how to prevent trash and be responsible just for recycling and everything else. So, so big shout out to you guys. I love Hollandale Beach and helping others. Glad to be here. See my beach.com. Glad to be part of your wonderful community. And uh, you guys help can help prevent the litter. So we really appreciate you taking it seriously. So thank you guys. Thank you. Bye to everyone from helping others. All right. See my beach.com. Remember, I'm here for you. That's right. <laughs> awesome. And we're going to be speaking. Is going to be speaking at some of your events over there, young man? Yes. I'm going to try yes. to get you in contact with uh, that would be our great. Gulfstream Academy. So you can talk to elementary school, middle school, and get a foothold in our city. It's That'd all about education, that's where it starts right here. Take care guys, thank you, bye. Thank you. Bye. Green Fest and Trash Show right here in Hollywood right. Beach. I was gonna tell you to remember where we're at. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, say it. No, Green Fest and Trash and Show, that's where we're at right now. <laughs> it's an awesome thing. We're actually inside the police department at this flesh, but yeah. it's just a little windy. You guys take care, see you later. Bye everybody. Bye guys. Bye. We're gonna stay, we were supposed to leave earlier, but we're gonna stay long enough to catch some of the Trash Show. Yeah. Pretty excited. Yes. Pretty excited yeah, I, about I was that. just having a little bit ago, they're already going crazy. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. All right guys, I'll take care. Right. Thank you so much. Right, bye bye. Bye.
up, Isabella? Hello. What do you think about the fashion show? It was great. I got a lot of ideas, and maybe I want to try doing one in my school next year. Okay, that's a good idea. Yeah. They're about to announce the winner, so I'm going to go back over there. Yeah, my favorite one is the newspaper boy, just to be clear now. What's that? The newspaper boy, the little boy with the newspaper. Yeah. I think he, his is really nice. You like his? Made, yeah. Definitely a good one. Alright guys, so the trash and show just ended and it was great. The, dude, the little kid who I like, the newspaper boy, he won second place and I'm really proud of him. And yeah, I, I actually picked the winner. Yeah, he liked, the winner. he liked the bride. She was really cute. But she was really she, cute. She everybody, had a great outfit yeah, on. everybody did such a great job and it gave me a lot of ideas. I really wanted to do something like this at my school next year and I just it gave me a lot of ideas and I really enjoyed just watching it and being here. It's great seeing all these kids get together yeah. to, to try to learn a and way. And they're to all just, so creative. I can tell you, look at that. Even the whole runway is made out of like recycled materials. They recycled all this and they made this. Made this. They made this. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, well, yeah. here at the Green Fest, the Trash Show right here in Hollandale Beach. And we're about to wrap this up. Yes. Yeah. And you have another Sad. event to go to. So yes, you're I running do. late for that. Because I am running late because I wanted to stay for this. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. So we were actually going to have an event, a booth here. Yeah. And we had to cancel at the last minute because of your other event that you're kind of. I'm a busy bee. You're a busy bee. Oh, I thought uh, I had the bee on my shirt, so <laughs> I changed. Make sure you're going to help and I'll let her see our encounter with the bee the other day at your house. Yeah, right? that's, on, that's, on helping, that's on our website. Oh, Oh, Instagram, Instagram, Instagram. That's right. There was a, there was a bee later. encounter where Isabella chivalrously saved the bee. Save the bees. And I, and I was so bees. worried. You could hear my worry, couldn't you? Yes, I, I know. I thought you were going to get stung. Because you wanted to keep recording. That's what you were worried about. <laughs> exactly. You were worried about the fact that I wasn't going to be able to keep recording. You were, you were exactly. Because if you got burnt bit by a bee, you'd have to keep recording anyway. And if I would have gotten bit, then there would have been no point in saving, not bit, stung. If I would have gotten stung, stung, there would have been no point in like... I kept saying bit on camera. I look like a moron. <laughs> I looked at that, I was like... There would have been no point in, like, in saving his life. It was in the moment I was trying to save your life like you were trying to save the beat. Right. <laughs> if he would have stung me, there would have been no point. He would have died. <laughs> that would have been so bad. We, um, we couldn't have put that video. That would have yeah. been a lose-lose situation. Exactly. Alright, right here at Hollandale Beach. We're out of yes. here. Talk to you later. Alright, we'll see you Bye later. Guys. Bye, guys. Alright, guys, so now I'm here with Sarah Beach. My name is Danelle Dukin. And what do you do here for the city of Palm Beach? Well, I work on our social media. I do a lot of different uh, marketing things. And just when we have different events, I try to make sure that I can advertise those events and also get pictures and photographs. All right, so right now, we're here with the Green Initiative. And what do you, like, what do you think about Hollandale Beach and how like progressive they are in our community? Like, what do you think about uh, I think they're doing a great job. I think they're taking um, the spring movement very seriously. And I love what they're doing. This event here is um, a great way to get the community in Involved and to make them more aware of our environment and what's going on and what they can do to make sure that, that we can keep our environment uh, safe and friendly. And also, um, I know they have a lot of different workshops right now, the Green Initiative Movement, and I believe that they're taking it very seriously and they're very progressive and I'm very proud to be part of this. This um, event here, Green Fest, is also a really great opportunity for the community to understand what's going on in the environment and how they can make a difference and make a change. And the workshops that they had today were very informative. I'm really glad that the community was very engaged and able to participate and ask questions. And they're getting informed, and that's the best part. Yeah, I think it's great. And I just want to thank you so much for this little short interview. Thank you. And uh, the Green Fest was super fun. The Trash and Show was great. I just want to thank you so much for you for uh, You're doing a great job. Well. Thank you. You guys are doing a great job as well. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Y'all be good. Bye. Bye. This is our final interview. Yep. We ended it on a great one. Thank you. The handshake of the 21st century. Bye, y'all. Uh... Bye. 
Alright guys, so now I'm here with Sue Fassler. She's the Green Initiatives Coordinator here in Hollandale Beach. And just tell me a little about what you guys do. Yeah, so I'm the sustainability person for the city. We offer a lot of energy and water conservation programs to the residents. My phone number is 954-457-1617. So give me a call to learn anything um, more about what I do for the city. So we also have a slogan, be present, think future. So that's what our sustainability program really wants people to do. We want people to think about their present actions and be conscious of them. So we leave the planet in better shape for future generations. Yeah, and um, you guys are just like a great example of an amazing city because you guys think about stuff like this and that's like really important because our world is the only world we have obviously and I just want to thank you so much this event was beautiful and I can't wait to come next year and you guys should be coming next year too yes and to the trash and show too I have to say yes, that it was is the great. absolute best part of Green Fest in my opinion I, I picked that's the awesome. winner she picked the second place I thought he was so cute but they were all doing fantastic yeah all of them did so great I want to do that next year at my school mm -hmm. and it just gave me so many ideas awesome and you get the phone number so you can help yes me Take care. Sue, thank you. Sue's amazing. Thank you so much. I had a meeting with Sue, and she is so dedicated and so committed. City of Holland, Beach is so lucky to have you. Thank you, guys. I'll take care. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye, guys.